Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and welcome to 10 Tips to Make You a Better Programmer. And this is particularly aimed at beginners and particularly at Java developers, although this also applies to other computer programming languages as well. And in this video, I'm going to count down from 10 to 1 and I'm going to give you my 10 top tips to improve your coding. And I'm going to try to get through this in five minutes, although I don't know if I'll succeed. Okay, so tip number 10 is learn to touch type. And this is optional and most professional developers can't type without looking at the keys. But if you can, it looks really impressive and it saves you huge amounts of time. So buy like a touch typing program and learn to type without looking at the keys and it will save you a vast amount of time when you're programming. Tip number nine is name variables and subroutines descriptively. And this is a basic thing that you should be doing. Whenever you type a name for something, give it a, a quite a long descriptive name that describes what it does. Don't be tempted to give variables and subroutines short names or you will lose track of what they do. Number eight is type rather than read. And I'm not saying don't read code, but don't get hung up on reading huge boring tutorials when you could be typing programs because 10 minutes of typing out a program and trying to make it work is worth hours of just reading stuff or even watching tutorials. Always try to write actual programs and get them to work. Tip number seven is write software that interests you because if you're just learning to program now, the major, the only real thing that can stop you becoming a good programmer is if you lose interest and good up and give up or you just don't put enough time into it. So try to think of a program that you'd really like to write and try to write that and it will keep your motivation going. Tip number six is read stat traces or error traces from the top line down. And it's incredible how beginners, including myself when I started, will look at the middle or the end of a stat trace if the program throws an error. You should always read them from the first line down. And if you force yourself to do that, then it will save you huge amounts of time because the real information in an error trace is in the top lines, not in the lines at the end. Tip number five is aim to write the smallest working program possible. If you're a beginner, you might think, well, I want to write the next, I don't know, the next uh, Halo, or I don't really know any computer games, or Quake or something, um, or I don't know, Half-Life, whatever, Minecraft. But don't do that. Try to write a really small program. For example, if you're writing games, try to write your own version of Space Invaders or something, because you've much more chance of getting that finished. Try to write a really small working program, get it working, and then make it more elaborate once it's working, if you want to. Google like crazy is tip number four. Whenever you want to do something, just Google how to do it. Make that your first port of call. And also, if you get an error, copy the error, paste it into Google and take out any specific bits like line numbers and try to find other people who've got the same error because Googling for code and Googling for errors will really save you a vast amount of time and you can almost always find examples of what you want to do on Google somewhere on the internet. Tip number three is build programs one step at a time. Write the smallest working program you can initially like a hello world program and then hit the run button and check that it works. Then add a few more lines of code to it and hit the run button again. Keep doing that. Keep adding, click, keep clicking the run button and make it produce some output and check that it works and do that at every step. Because if you write a big program and then check it and it doesn't work, you've got a big headache. But if you just added a few lines and you run it and it doesn't work, it's a much smaller headache and much easier to solve. Keep clicking that run button on your IDE, your integrated development environment. Number two is ensure braces always pair up. Whenever you type an opening bracket, immediately type the closing bracket and put the code in between. And that one tip will save you vast amounts of time and you won't be having to scratch your head over where the other bracket ought to be. Always type the closing bracket when you've typed a opening bracket and type it immediately. And finally, tip number one is format your code correctly. If you're doing Java and Eclipse, you just have to do Control, Shift and F. And other IDEs have similar shortcuts. 
always keep your, your code scrupulously formatted because that will enable you to see how the brackets line up and how the subroutines and code blocks actually work together. And it will make your code readable and much, much easier to understand. And the worst and most stupid thing you can do when you're beginning, which we unfortunately all do, is have badly formatted code. Always format it and you can use an automatic formatter and always do that constantly and it will make it much more legible and easier to understand. My tip number zero today is go to www.caveofprogramming.com where you can find more articles and tutorials like this one and complete um, courses on programming as well. So that's it for today and I hope that helps and if you follow all these tips it definitely will. And until next time, happy coding.